Welcome back to Classic Replay. Now here's something weird to consider. In a hundred years from now, nobody will remember us. That's correct, I'm afraid. We'll be dead and buried. <laughs> That's a good start to the video. No, but seriously, the homes that you live in now, somebody else will be living in them. Somebody else will own your retro gaming collection. Every possession you own today will be in the hands of somebody else. A stranger. Probably worse than that, given away, thrown on the scrap heap, or on display in a charity shop. Those classic computers and consoles that you worked hard to own, gone. Scrap metal. Not a single person will have a memory about us. So when you think about that, when you weigh it all up, it's absolutely pointless to worry about things you have no control over. 95% of the things we worry about is just pure nonsense. So I say game on, my friends. Play games like you've never played them before. Remember, classic people, we are only visiting. On that bombshell, here are 15 of the best games ever on the Game Boy Advance. Number 15, Mario Tennis Power Tour. You can't beat a bit of tennis and the GBA is packed full of tennis games. I've played every tennis game on the GBA, but none are better than Mario Tennis. Each of the players have their own unique strengths and weaknesses to adjust to, and it's been tailored beautifully for the Game Boy Advance. Number 14, Astro Boy, Omega Factor. Definitely one of the coolest 2D action games to appear on the GBA. There's never a dull moment, it looks incredible. It also happened to be one of the most spectacular and action-packed experiences money could buy on the GBA. When Sega and Treasure team up, the result is Moida. Number 13, Gunstar Superheroes. Ah, the spirit of Gunstar lives on on the GBA. And like the original, nail-biting action from start to finish. As you can expect, top-notch presentation, characters are wonderfully detailed, has the just one more go factor. Gunstar Superheroes is God's own action-adventure game. Number 12, Mario vs Donkey Kong. Some things never get old, and legend has it, you can unlock a level editor. This is platforming and puzzling at its most infuriating and enjoyable. Much better than you'd expect. Ignore its 2D limits, and this is a fine platform game. Number 11, Mega Man Zero. The Japanese version features more guts on screen and more blood, so that's the one to go for. Mega Man Zero looks great and moves damn quick. It's fast and furious and probably the ultimate Mega Man game. I mean, those are some sharp, detailed graphics for the GBA and it feels very rewarding with progressive gameplay. Yes, it's a familiar formula, but it's still a damn fine action adventure. Number 10, Kirby and the Amazing Mirror. Now I know some people will prefer Kirby's Nightmare in Dreamland, so I've added that to what to play next. For a small dude, Kirby has some big adventures on the GBA, and you'll have a great time playing this. There's also a multiplayer mode, which massively cements this as a classic. Number 9, Castlevania, Aria of Sorrow. This could just as easily be number 1. And it's so good that it appears in the book 1001 Video Games You Must Play Before You Die. Some even say this is the second 
best Castlevania game of all time. Number 8 Street Fighter Alpha 3 It looks like Street Fighter Alpha 3, it plays like Street Fighter Alpha 3 and I love playing it so it must be Street Fighter Alpha 3. There's a massive roster of fighters, intuitive tactile gameplay and so many moves and techniques to learn. And if you are talking about a fighting game on GBA, you're talking Street Fighter Alpha 3. Number 7, Rebel Star Tactical Command. Yay, one of my favourite games of all time. I played this on the ZX Spectrum and the Amstrad CPC back in the day. And this is a fabulous upgrade. There's a clear interface which means very little fiddling. Campaigns offer loads of variety and it's more proof that the GBA has brains to match its looks. Saturday nights after closing time can get a bit hairy. Number six, Golden Sun. Epic adventure bathed in color. For me personally, this is a better looking streamlined sun of Final Fantasy. And yes, better than Chrono Trigger. But you do need to play Final Fantasy to get the full story. But Golden Sun has a fantastic fast and easy to access battle system. And my goodness, it's a thing of beauty. Seriously, no RPG fan should miss out on Golden Sun. Number five, Super Mario blah, 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 blah. No idea, but it's brilliant. Even today, this game hasn't aged at all. And my eight year old absolutely loves it. Can't put it down. In fact, she's obsessed with Mario and Princess Peach. There's no doubt about it, Nintendo know how to make games. Number 4, Mother 3. Now this one might be cheating because I don't think it was released in the UK and a friend of mine brought it round and said, have a go at this. Some Bright Spark had translated it from Japanese into English and I couldn't put it down. I was absolutely mad for it. I loved the story. And the dream now is that Nintendo will release it on the Switch in some form or other in English. But to be honest, I'm not holding my breath. Number three, The Legend of Zelda, The Minish Cap. Easily one of the best games ever made and one of my personal favorites of all time. Although you can't beat The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask on the N64 and Ocarina of Time, absolutely magical games. In fact, sometimes I'm playing Golden Sun and think I'm playing a Zelda game for a brief moment. So that just shows you how great Zelda games are and how everyone borrows from them. Number two, Advance Wars. I feel like this is one of the best games ever, but it's trapped on the GBA. I'd like to see it revamped for the Nintendo Switch or the PS5. You know, I remember the first time I ever played this game. I was massively hooked from the word go. And like Tetris on the Game Boy, I couldn't put it down. Ah, the honourable mentions, the ones that almost got away.
Number one, Metroid Fusion. That's right, I saved the best till last. This is officially, according to me, <laughs> classic replay, the best GBA game ever. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please like, subscribe, leave a comment, don't forget to ring that bell, and until next time, bye!